<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Finding Your Indie in our social media marketing corner. I'm just going to like say different names for that however I want. <laughs> I'm Bonnie Paulson. I'm Andy Stevens. And we are so excited to have you. This month, uh, the feature that we're talking about is August. So we have so much to cover. So this month we're talking about August. Um, and remember, August is next month. We're trying to give you enough time so that you can plan your marketing. If you're a part of our boss mode membership, you already have this information. You're seeing this first before everyone else. And your August should already be pretty much planned according to these types of ideas, as well as promotions and releases that you might have. But if you're just on our channel or you're on our free group, we are happy to help you get ready before August starts. So let's get started. Our theme is Romance Awareness Month. I know. I love Which this is, month. Yeah, it goes perfect with romance writers. So Yes. But let's say you're not a romance writer. There's Family Fun Month, which is really, really great for all kinds of reading. Um, if you're just a husband and a wife together, you can read together. You have mm -hmm. children, you can read to them. If you have teens, you can read with them. I think there's a lot of great things to be had in the last month of summer because it's family fun month. Like there's so many things that you can do. One thing that we used to do with some of the kids when they were still home is um, we would read a book and then watch the movie. So Harry Potter was a really big one in our house. So this is something that you can, that you can be recommending for your readers to do for the month of August. And we also have national girlfriend day. See, I think that could be a whole number of things. It doesn't have to yeah. just be a romantic girlfriend, but no. like women's fiction is great for that one. And if you are suggesting maybe, hey guys, are you thinking of a random gift to get your girlfriend? Check out this great book. There's all yeah. kinds of things that Perfect. you can do with that type of a theme. Now, some daily themes that we want you to keep in mind. We use holidayinsights.com. The link is in our description. We go there a lot to get a lot of this information for weekly events, monthly celebrations, their special events, dailies, and this is worldwide as well as, as the U.S. Some things that they have, which are super fun. Remember, Dog Days of Summer is ending in August. It ends in the middle. There's also some, I, some things that you can use. There's International Forgiveness Day, Sisters Day. They also have a National Lighthouse Day. I think it would be awesome if a bunch of women um, fiction writers got together and featured their lighthouse covers. Those are seem to be really popular right now. So if you did like a big lighthouse day and everybody just featured those, I think that would be kind of a really fun way to network as well as to feature your covers for readers. August 9th is Book Lovers Day. Fun. Just saying yeah. like... <laughs> That could be like a whole week thing leading up to August yeah. 9th and make it like a big shebang. We're giving you these tips and ideas because we want you to be thinking outside of the box with your marketing. And focusing on these types of days is a great way to engage with your readers as well as kind of bring, it kind of already gives you a prompt, right? So like Lazy Day, National S'mores Day, there's a lot in here that has to do with like left-handers day. Hey, who out there is a left-hander? It's national left-hander day. Mm -hmm. Great for um, engagement on your social yes. media channels. Yes. And, and, and also you, you have your list, you know, your summer reading list that you started in June or July. Keep it yes. throughout and hopefully you're networking with other authors and, you know, sharing their books and they share your books and vice versa. Yeah, exactly. I think that's what's important about this. So if you guys are doing promotions and stuff, right now is a great time to start thinking because it's August. Start thinking of back to school activities that you could be doing, mm -hmm. back to school promotions. We're getting back into the routine after kids are back in school. Have family reading lists, all kinds of things like that. So we have all these ideas and we want you to come up with some more for yourselves, especially as we're moving into the fourth quarter of the year for marketing. But August is a really great month for you to reset things, end your summer strong, make sure that you're doing all kinds of things to make sure that your social media is engaged as we're heading into fall, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. September's considered fall. I don't want to call it fall but i i guess no, it is in florida it is definitely not fall <laughs> yeah i know here it's, it's so not cool. either <laughs> full summer um we we do have a summer stone it's peridot oh. yeah oh okay peridot pretty that's a pretty green yeah so and that you could use that in treasures you could just use that in your um social media like the colors and stuff that you use there's lots that you can do with that um we do want you to make sure that you are being consistent being engaging meet your reader where you're comfortable and stay to brand. And when we say meet your reader where you're comfortable, we mean if you're not comfortable being on TikTok, you don't have to go on TikTok. If you're not comfortable on Twitter, don't do it. Only do what you're comfortable doing because they'll know that you're not happy being there. Or mm -hmm. hire someone. If you feel like I just have to be on TikTok, then hire someone. For instance, I hate being on all social media and Mandy, 
I have hired Mandy to do mine. She does a great job and she has other VAs in her pocket and she knows exactly what she's doing. So hire someone. <laughs> That's always an option. <laughs> But be where your readers are as well. So if you're writing YA, you're probably not going to find them on Twitter. You might find them on TikTok. You might find them on Discord. So there's a lot more options of where to find your readers than just, you know, just Facebook or just whatever. As you're moving forward and you're getting used to adapting your ideas to, hey, I can feature this for my new, you know, for my marketing. I can feature this for my market. And we want you to think outside the box and create things to feature your, you know, to market around as well. Do promotions, grab other authors, do some of these, you don't have to necessarily do an anthology, but you can do an anthology idea, right? Where it's like, maybe you do a page, like a landing page and everybody puts their book cover on there and you're doing, all of these books are blue covered. All Mm -hmm. of these books have peridot in the color, right? All of these books have to do with marshmallows. Um, Uh, Yeah. Yeah. You have, there's so many options. Now yeah. I'm sitting there going, maybe I need to do a business based on national days. No, <laughs> no, more <business. laughs> no more businesses. Okay. So that's, but that's what we want you to do. We want you to think outside the box. How can you use these things and, and put them together? They don't have to cost a lot of money. Sure. You can do giveaways, uh, but really what you want to do is just make sure that you're making your books and yourself visible to other readers and your current readers. So that's our biggest goal here with our marketing corner. And don't forget our feature resource for the month of August is Author Helper Suite. I love this program so much. Don't you love it, Mandy? Yeah, it used to be called Reader Link. So some people might know it by Reader Link. Yeah, that's true. It's And the, the Reader Link feature is phenomenal. I, every single feature that John and the guys have put in there is amazing. That's where Mandy and I do, we require that when we have ads um, that we're running for clients. I just love them. I just, I- You can even use them for your reader team. Oh yeah. The reader team setup was amazing. When we started getting, I started getting these like comments from readers, like this part was broken and this part didn't make sense. And I could just click it as like, I finished it. That was awesome because I was like, I'm done. I'm done. So it kind of, it kind of gamified it, but it created a really nice locale for both of us to meet the readers and me. They weren't in a Facebook group. They weren't in emailing me. It was just in one location that we were all together. It was really nice. So yes, check them out. They have free for the first 30 days. Links in the comment. First 30 days free trial, and then just like mess around, check out all of the features that they have. You're going to become an addict just like me. Their links are amazing. Um, the data that you can get from them, super cool. Geo links, uh, you could you could see what's performing, what's not performing with your ads. I mean, I, I live by it in my author business, so. Yeah, so do I, definitely do. Who's, who's clicking on my back matter link to go Mm -hmm. see the next book. Who's, I mean, I use different ads or different links inside of my ads. Is this one going to be in the creative part? Is this going to be in the body part? So there's all kinds of amazing, useful things in there. Definitely check them out. Uh, Tell them Bonnie sent you, Bonnie and Mandy. We're excited for you to try them. Okay. Is there anything else we are forgetting for August? Because August is going to be a busy month. Hit subscribe and hit the like button and invite a friend to learn with us because success is always funner when you're sharing it with friends.